5.28 a.m. And we are out the door on our way to the airport. We are making absolutely great time until Carolyn spilled a little bit of coffee on her pan. <laughs> I was like getting into the car and it like dribbled a bit on my white pants. Um, so we had to quickly take care of that situation. Other than that, it's been a great morning. Boys peed and pooped. Doing great. Carolyn currently has no pants on in the car because her pants are drying. Yep, and there's a police officer right over there. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to New York. New York. So where are we at? We're in New York. We dropped off our stuff at the hotel. We met up with David. Hi, David. David's here. For those of you who don't know, David is our manager. And we decided to go get some food because we're hungry as crap. And um, we decided to overindulge. Just a little bit. Uh, we're gonna do something special. Uh, you know, a lot of people always wonder what's the best pizza to eat when you come to New York. And we're gonna find that out today because we're gonna go on a magical Manhattan pizza tour to figure out what is the best pizza in New York. So we're gonna taste four, five? Five. I five think. different pizza places and uh, rate them on a scale of, I have no idea. We'll figure out the scale when we get there and then we'll rate them on that scale. But on to the first one. Uh -huh. First one, baby. First one, is this it? Yep. Yeah. And uh, I think the deal is going to be to get pepperoni in each spot because pepperoni is my favorite and that way it's kind of even footing for the different pizzas on our magical night pizza tour. Oh, I was going to go for the first bite. Oh, sorry. I'm hungry. Wow. That's so good. Bleecker Street, what was your rating? I mean, it's pretty darn good. I feel like it's like... 4.8, pretty close to a 5. Pretty close to a 5, but not quite a 5. But I think the thing is, is we don't quite know what the barometer of our rating is going to be because we haven't quite tasted the next That's pizza. true. We might have to amend our ratings at the end. Bleecker Street, very good. Thank you for delicious pizza. New York beats uh, any pizza in Boca Raton. Um, Sorry, much. the restaurants we like. <laughs> Sorry, Boca. We still like your pizzas, but uh, New York is New York. Yeah, that one was great. So, on to the next. Yep, don't know what the name is, but we're going there. Making my way downtown. <laughs> I don't know the rest of the song. We're almost at our next location, and uh, we've been working for it. We walked, what, about a mile, Jer? Yep. And I picked the wrong day to wear this material Look and a jacket, because Lovely I sweat. Sweat! Uh, we all are. But yeah, I got pants on and they're white too, so it's... This has become the perspiration pizza tour, real quick. It's a village square pizza. Whoop. Take a sit down at this one because uh, it's hot. And we walked two miles. So and we walked two miles, so you know it's, it's kind of like we're burning off everything that we're eating, uh, pizza wise. 
Probably not, but uh, you should guess as to what kind of pizza we got. Hey, Ram's a pepperoni. 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 But yeah, we're about to try another thing of pepperoni. We'll let you know how it is. And then I'm gonna fall over. Thank you. We finish at Lazarus. 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 Carolyn's having a problem with that word. <laughs> I'm about three pizzas deep, so I feel like I'm in a food coma right now. She's got a pizza buzz going on right now. Is it right now? Pizza numero uno was my favorite. Which was Bleecker Street Pizza, is that correct? Yep. John's yep. on Bleecker. John's, John's on Bleecker's favorite. Was, uh, currently, currently our favorite. They've all been good though, so to be fair, it's like varying it's degrees. It's all personal taste. Yeah, style. it's more personal taste and style, but. Actually, no, like... our taste is the absolute truth, right? <laughs> That's true. Oh yeah, what am I saying? It's not personal taste and style. <laughs> Come on. It's objective. I am the foremost authority. I am the pizza connoisseur. On all of pizza. Your judge, jury, I am <laughs> President Pizza. <laughs> so we're taking a brief intermission from our pizza tour because our bellies are full. Our bellies are full, and also we got to get some other stuff done before an event that we're going to tonight. So we'll continue our pizza tour later tonight, and then possibly our last stop will be tomorrow because my belly can only consume so much pizza at one time before exploding. Yep, and uh, I want to get a little dress for tonight. We're heading to Zara. The cool kids say, Zao. Yeah, but we're going to go shopping. Go there. like that. Good morning. Good morning to you. Well, hello there. We thought we'd do a little bit of an update because it's been a minute since we talked about what we're actually doing. It's been kind of a wild ride. Last night, we went to a kind of cocktail. PR, cocktails and connect kind of event. It was actually one of the main reasons why we came to New York. Yeah. It was awesome. Honestly, we met some really great people, had a ton of fun, spent time with his agency team afterwards, mm -hmm. and it was a blast. Can't complain. And then uh, we were super hungry because all we had yesterday was pizza. three different slices of pizza, and then cocktails at the cocktail party. So we realized we needed some food, so we made a late night... Italian run. Italian run. Hindsight, probably not the smartest place to go after having pizza all day. Um, but you know, it got the job done. I literally can't remember what the restaurant's name was because I was way too hungry. So after that, we went back to the hotel and I passed out. I'm pretty sure Carolyn took footage of me snoring. This morning, we just kind of took it easy, went and got a nice little breakfast at, what is it? It's Jack's Wife, wife Frida. It Jack's was Wife Frida. so delicious. I've been there before. I think it was Jeremy's first time, but it was nice. We actually got some greens in our system because all we ate yesterday was carbs. Yeah. Um, and I think we also decided that our pizza tour was going to end yesterday. Oh <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for everybody who wanted to see uh, more pizzas. I can't eat anymore. Uh, it's not happening. I need a pizza detox. I Actually, a, I need an Italian food detox. I need an Italian food detox, and that's hard to say because I love Italian food. But yeah, uh, yeah it's going to end at the three that we went to, and out of those three, I guess we're going to declare a winner. John's on Bleecker, 100%. John's on Bleecker. Out of the three that we went to, 100% the best one. Highly recommend uh, if you're in New York. Go check it out. Yeah. Not very expensive. Very great quality. And uh, yeah, yeah, it yeah. wins our magical Manhattan pizza tour. Definitely. And that brings us to today. Today's a very special day. Very special day. We are at Central Park because... It's our engagement anniversary. <laughs> I don't know if people celebrate that. I'm not really sure that's a thing, but it is for us. We're going to call it something. So four years ago today, August 17th, Jeremy proposed here in Central Park. And I mean, it's kind of crazy that we're here in New York on the exact day. We visited the spot that we got engaged at before. 
but not on the day. So it's special, I'm super pumped. <laughs> also, I think we need to briefly establish, if you see any uh, video footage of Jeremy walking and he's hopping along, um, it's because he hurt his foot. We walked a lot yesterday. I'm walking like a penguin right now. I don't know what the heck I did, but I completely screwed up my foot yesterday. And uh, it's on like the bottom outside of my right foot. I don't know if I got like tendonitis or if I just like really overdid. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but it's been like very painful to walk around the past day and a half, and I'm I'm fighting through it. I'm trying to be a good warrior because we're in New York and it's not you easy to get not here. Walk. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't feel great. Yeah. So if you see me hobbling or having random bits of pain in my face, that's probably why. Yeah, poor baby. <laughs> So I felt like I really wanted to have some cool outfits this trip and feel very New York-y. I don't know why the heck I did that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Look at this fit check. I feel very... Stylish. Very cool and stylish with this outfit. You look very handsome. So I'll show you more of the other ones. I've been putting those fits together this trip, guys. Oh, baby. Very pumped. Mr. Hobble along. Right. <laughs> this point in the bridge is where he called my name and I looked the complete opposite direction. <laughs> Just tried to recreate some proposal photos from our engage anniversary. A very nice man and his lovely wife helped us with those photos. We had to do it twice because Carolyn did not like the way her hair looked the first time and so then she had to put it on. <laughs> it was like all crinkly. You know when you have your hair up for a bit and then it gets the little marks in the back? It was just, it was just the whole thing. <laughs> but we got them and they we look super him. cute. Yeah. It's fun. It's honestly a gorgeous day too so it's been really enjoyable. It was a lot more hot the day I actually proposed so this has actually been yeah. very nice. And the fun part, I feel like every time we come to New York we try to make it a point to come back here. So mm -hmm. it's fun. So. And hopefully Throughout the years, we'll keep coming back and then we'll have like, you know. All the photos. <laughs> all the photos throughout life of us coming back to the same spot. Yeah. Pretty fun. fun. I just wanted to show you guys how cute my purse is. <laughs> they gave it to us at the event last night. I never have like fun, sparkly things, but this is pretty awesome. So Jeremy and I are en route to Nami Nori, which is a Japanese restaurant in the West Village area. Yeah, baby. So we're running a little late, but that's where we're headed. Carolyn with her new purse just sparked up. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> well, so we wrapped up dinner and we are presently about in to line. See. Well, yeah, that too. We're presently about to go see the Back to the Future musical. Which, um, fun fact, I actually auditioned for the part of Marty McFly via self tape and I got invited to a callback for it. But I would have had to fly myself to New York City and on my own dime and all that stuff, and I kind of said no. Uh, maybe we'll insert some of your singing. Then. Yeah, maybe we'll show some of my audition for it. Maybe not. It depends on how uh, fearless I'm feeling. Yeah, but wait, wait, check this out. Oh yeah, baby. But in any case, so the line we're in literally wraps around the entire theater. So. And we have tickets already, so it's like just to pick up your tickets, which is kind of crazy. Wild. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we're in in time. Super duper fun. Honestly, even if you've never seen the movie, which I have, and it's one of my favorite movies of all time, so of course I loved it. But even if you have not seen the movie, it's still a blast, and definitely go check it out if you go to New York. We will pause to the cap because our train is here. Our train's here, gotta go. So 
I know we said that we weren't gonna eat any more pizza or Italian food. But then we were hungry and we were trying to go to a place after the Broadway musical that had food and their kitchen was closed. So here's the last and most likely final pizza on our magical Manhattan pizza tour. So we're gonna give you the full review because we also got a pepperoni pizza. This looks better than two of the other ones. Cheers, Jer. Cheers. Mmm. Why does pizza always taste better late at night? I have to put my face. Bleecker Street still wins, mm -hmm. hands down. But this is tasty. This is number two for me. Yeah? Yeah, granted, it's the style of pizza that I like, so this is like, when I want pizza, like this is the style of pizza that I mm. want. I don't want thick crust, I don't want uber thin crust, I want like the Goldilocks right in the middle type of pizza, you know what I'm saying? This mm -hmm. is good, it's really good. Well, we're gonna finish our pizza and go to bed because we're heading out of town tomorrow. I'm tired. Good night. Cheers. So we're back home. And we woke up. <laughs> we realized we didn't really do an ender for the video. And uh, yeah, here's our ender. Uh, and if I look very tired, it's because we just woke up. And we're kind of decked out all in merch. Intentionally. Speaking of merch, Let's Drive merch, which is coming out tomorrow. Yeah, I just made it. Actually, you know what? It'll come out today. When the video's out, you guys will be able to see it. Yeah, so go get this merch now. If you like cool merch that says, let's drive with some cool cars, and it says, a Neon Dreams collection. Good job. Thanks, Bruno. Mm -hmm. Did you sponsor this video? Oh, that's right. Oh, our sponsor for this video is also myself. Um, <laughs> I sponsor all of our videos. I'm not really sure how that works in terms of uh, being financially beneficial. Should probably get some other sponsors who can actually pay more. I don't pay much, but uh, yes, I am sponsoring this video. And uh, also there's, can you still get these? Yeah, you can still get ghosted still mugs. Still get the ghosted coffee mugs. And, and Jeremy's new song, uh, Dark Heart, is gonna be out next Wednesday. September 6th. September 6th, and we're actually running a fun little giveaway. So if you want one of these cool bad boys with a signature from this guy. Signed by me. Um, go pre-save it now. So I'll have the link in the description of this video. Uh, merch aside, New York was very, very fun. Blast. What was your favorite part? Probably going back to Central Park. I, I love mm -hmm. that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Tell your friends. Yeah, we'll catch you later. <laughs>